Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to another vlog. Today's Saturday, the July 10th, and I was gonna open it, open my vlog in the kitchen, but we have all the power off in the kitchen because we are working on the dining room today and it's so exciting. The day is finally here. I have waited for this dining room makeover for so long, but this is gonna be more of a get it all done style and you will have seen that on the thumbnail already. So uh, my eyes are watering from the sun and then also my stuff I put on my eczema, it makes my eyes water and my mascara, ugh. <laughs> my battery's flashing. This is just not working out so great. <laughs> anyway, it, it's gonna die on me in a second, but it is Saturday and we are working on the dining room. I'm also gonna be going to pick up, or not to pick up, but to actually grocery shop. So I'll have a smallish grocery haul for you and hopefully, hopefully in this vlog, we're gonna finish the dining room but if not you know I'll do it in another video I'll show you the final but I'm gonna show you all the things that we got and tell you all our plans and um, hopefully it'll all come together okay so here is my dining room as you all have seen it many many times um, this ugly <laughs> outdated ceiling fan is going we haven't used it in a long time I do use the fan or I used to use the fan all the time like I would turn it on in like April and leave it on till October but I just don't use it anymore and we have another one over here in the living room and we're I don't want either one of them that one hangs down really low too but I decided I wanted like a nice farmhouse ish chandelier to go right here but um, if you watched my other vlog, I was talking about the wiring in this house or like this switch over here. We don't know what it goes to. So Marion's having to figure out the wiring. It's kind of a pain. And I have thought that I would maybe have him move the light over to like here and cut a new hole. And then we would center it over the table kind of in the middle. But I think I've decided I'm just going to keep it where it is and then center the table underneath it over here in this corner. Because I ended up buying... A table and chairs and a hutch off of Facebook Marketplace, which I'll show you in this video. I'm going to be redoing them. They're all different. Um, well, the table and chairs are just wood, and then the hutch is painted blue. So I'm going to paint that. I'm going to paint all of them. But I went ahead and decided to get a round table. I had talked a long time about Marion building me a table, and that was my plan. But then the more I thought about it, I thought a round table would be good for the space. And since we don't have six people living here like we used to, a smaller table is fine, but it also has a leaf in it so I can make it bigger when I need to. So I'll paint that and everything too so that it, when I need to use it, I'll pull that out. But, you know, for just everyday use, we don't need a huge table. So it's got... It's round and it has four chairs and I wanted chairs that were like the, 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 I don't know what you call them, but they have the, the long poles on them and I wanted like a rounded top instead of a square top and these are exactly like that. So my plan is to paint the table white. I wanted a round table that had one center column, not four legs. I'm going to paint that white and then I'm also going to just stress it a little bit and then obviously I'm going to like put polyacrylic across on the top a couple layers of that so it doesn't scratch and then the chairs I'm gonna paint them black that was when I, if you remember when I did my craft room I got a black chair like that from Goodwill and when I had it up here that was when I first started thinking about I loved the way that it looked up here I started thinking I want black chairs like that so that when it came time to redo my dining room that is what I wanted so painting the chairs black is gonna be an ordeal because I don't think I'm gonna spray paint them I think I'm just gonna paint them um, with black chalk paint, there's I'm gonna get the I'm gonna try to find the Rust-Oleum chalk paint because I was reading it and that was really good for it. So that's gonna be a, a lot of work. But the hutch is blue right now, and I'll show you all this when we get it up. It's all down in the basement. But I think I'm gonna paint it white, and then on the inside, I'm either gonna put contact paper or paint the back of it a different color. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to do all that in this video, so hopefully we'll get the whole thing done this weekend, but it may not quite be done. Um, but I'll still probably show it all in this video, but it, it is going to be a more get it all done style video because it's also going to have regular everyday vlog stuff. So right now I'll show you the light that we got and the rug because those are both up here. So you can't really see the light. Um, I'll give you an idea of what it looks like. It is one of these black farmhouse style do it like this and it has six of these arms that will go around 
it. It's not like, it's like 23 inches wide. I got the small one because it's a small space, but this over my round table is gonna be so beautiful. And Mary got some bulbs for it. Hopefully it'll be the same brightness as the one that I have now, which is just three regular bulbs. So this will be six smaller bulbs. Actually, here is a picture which you'll see it later on in the video, but it's black so it'll match my black chairs and I'm excited. So here's the rug. It is beautiful. I looked a long time to try and find the right rug and I was going to get a jute rug, but I thought that it would first of all blend into my floor because it's kind of that color and also I was afraid the cats would use it as a scratching rug. So I wanted like a braided style. So this gray and white one was perfect and um, I wanted a six foot because I want it to be, you know, bigger than the table and chairs. So that was what I got, but I'll link the light and I'll link the rug in the description box. I got them both on Amazon. Obviously, Ollie has to christen every rug we get. <laughs> Bell Bell, leave him alone. He just wants to roll around on it. You love it, Ollie. Do you love it? Do you love it? Yeah, you do too. I know. All right, he got the old ceiling fan down and I've never seen it without the ceiling fan there. I know the big chandelier will also be there and you know, take up space, but I like it. It looks more open and looks bigger. So I think he's, he's gonna have to go up in the attic. It's, it's a fiasco, but he is gonna stay here and work on that. It's probably gonna take him hours just to get that light up, but I am thankful that he is gonna be able to do it. And I'm gonna run to Walmart, get my groceries, get my paint and all that so I can get back here and start because it's like 1.30 and I haven't done anything yet. Okay, the chalk paint is kind of a hot mess up here. <laughs> this is the kind I want and I love this Serenity Blue. It's almost like my icy teal. If they don't have any black, I'm gonna have to get the kills in black and then the Rust-Oleum in white linen white. Just not enough, of, sure if this is enough for the table and the touch. I don't know. But this is the one that I read is the best and it says one coat coverage. today oh my goodness I'm just running across to um, Sam's which is just like right next door so I don't want to you know turn my air on but Lord have mercy I'm gonna run over there get two things and then I'll go home and show you everything I bought all right I'm home but we brought all the groceries in and I'm gonna unpack them I'm gonna have to do the grocery haul in the dark because only these lights are working the plugs are working but that Marion has cut the power to the lights, but I'm gonna show you, he put my light together. Did you put it together? I did put it together. It's so pretty. All right, it's on the table with everything else. Can I touch it? <laughs> Look how pretty, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. He was able to get the power to this, so we're gonna have a switch there. That's exciting. It's kind of dark, but it's exciting. That's what it looks like with all, oh, so pretty. I don't have all the pieces around. I didn't want to get the one with eight arms because it reminded me of a spider. <laughs> But this is so beautiful. I love it. And I love the way the lighting looks. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, everything is on the counter. And it is not like my typical. I think it's kind of, it's some is normal, some is not. I'm going to go through it really quick. I'm not going to tell you a meal plan. I'm just going to kind of tell you what I'll be making. I have like five or six meals already. So this is kind of maybe six or eight. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's only like five other meals. And I'm gonna try to eat up all that. And before we go on vacation, you know, I wanna have everything eaten up. So I'm just gonna go through real quick and tell you, first of all, I'm very sad because in the car, the cat litter box fell over and squashed my bread and squashed my buns. 
So that's very sad, but I'm gonna make some bacon tomato grilled cheese sandwiches. That just sounded good, and this is such good bread. I love it. I got two bags of the barbecue mesquite chips. These are super cheap, and Marion loves them. I got some of these chips because I'm gonna make nachos tonight because we had Mexican last night. We have some leftover chips from the restaurant, and these are kind of like them, and I'm just gonna put some taco meat and make some white queso, and I'll show you what else I'm gonna put on it in a second. I got some Hawaiian um, bagels for Jackson, some sub rolls because we'll have subs one night. I'll probably have chicken salad wrap with um, like I made for July 4th with tomato and spinach. It was so good, but they like roast beef. I got some hamburger buns because we're going to have sloppy joe one night, some ground chicken, some ch I love the organic chicken. These are my favorite, but it's, when it's on sale, I get it because it just it's just such good quality chicken. This Harvest Land organic, and then I got the diced chicken breast. Then I do have a lot of meat in the freezer, so like I said, I've already got like meals for that. So I got some elbow macaroni for macaroni and cheese, pepperoni. I'm gonna make my um, Pizza Hut pizzas. Well, I haven't made those in forever. <gasps> we have light. Yay! In here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let there be light. Um, I got these turkey sticks. Jackson really likes these. So just got those for him. Some medium cheddar. Some This is for our grilled cheese. Sliced cheddar. This is for the pizza. This is for the grilled cheese. And then this is the queso, white queso dip I'm going to make tonight. I got Marion a few snacks. I'm trying to be a little, little healthier. He's such a snacker. So I got him the Omega 3 Trail Mix. He loves that. And his black silk coffee. And then I got him the... Cheerios Oat Crunch Almond. He really likes those. And then the Crunchy Raisin Bran. And I just grabbed this because we haven't had it in like literally years. And Jackson really likes that. And then I got some of the frozen pancakes. Those are always good to keep in the freezer for the kids with some bacon. I got our favorite chicken strips. Two things of broccoli. I'm going to make uh, broccoli chicken alfredo or fettuccine one night. And I just got corn for a side. There's the fettuccine. Got this is the chicken salad. I'm going to make some wraps. The la uh, last time I used Aldi's chicken salad and that was really good, but I'm, I was just at Walmart. So I am going to try this. It's the rotisserie seasoned one. So we'll see if it's any good. There's the roast beef. And then when I went into Sam's, I picked up this. I saw this a few weeks ago with my mom and it looked so good and it was only like five bucks and it's a ton of fresh salsa. And then Carla McKenzie uh, influenced me. She said it's amazing. She keeps talking about it on Instagram. So I had to go in there and grab that. And I also grabbed two movie tickets to Regal. You can buy them there for cheaper. Um, so I just keep those in my purse for whenever Jackson wants to come to the movies with me or something. I got a big old box of cat litter. That is what fell on my bread and squashed it. And there's sweet Claire. She loves the bags on the floor. <laughs> I don't know why. And then over here, this is like non, well, here's a little bit of produce. I got tomatoes, bell pepper, uh, bananas and a watermelon gallon of milk then the only cans I got were some of these green chilies for my white cheese dip some evaporated milk and pizza sauce and then I needed a few of our vitamins the apple cider these are different ones than I got before they didn't have the other ones but I'm sure those are good and then some more fish oil I got Marion's body wash that he likes and some more face wipes for me and Jackson's he likes the crystal light but they were out so little juice packs so then I picked up these sanding sponges to sand the table and chairs and then a few brushes I got this for the polycrylic and then a couple sizes of brushes a small roller and then some of the what is it cab what does it say extremely smooth for cabinets and doors so like the um the hutch I'll use these on that and then I got a couple of these trays I did buy paint as I showed you but I also am going to do something different which I'll show you in a sec excuse me Claire Bear so I got some tortillas and then these car balance for me I got the cats their canned food and then a big old bag of dry cat food and paper towels and then a couple more snacks for Mary and I got the fig bars and he loves Twizzlers and then they had my strawberry watermelon. That is my all-time favorite ice drink. And they are hard to find. I had to dig to the very back. And I got all four that they had. So those are my favorite. Then I got a black raspberry and a peach nectarine for Jackson. No, this is black cherry. And peach nectarine. Walmart just doesn't have a very big selection. But he does like those too. So the paints that I ended up buying was this Rust-Oleum. 
in linen white. That is for the table and the hutch. Hopefully that is enough. I did get a big thing of polycrylic. And this time I got the clear satin finish because I wanted the top of the table to be kind of a little bit shiny, not matte. So um, hopefully that's the right one. And then I bought this. You know, I said I wanted black chairs, but I can't really find black chalk paint unless I get chalkboard paint, and I did not want that. So I bought this Kills chalk. It's toasted poppy seed, but I think I'm going to take it back because I started driving home and I was thinking, I don't want to paint those chairs. I was thinking spray paint, if I could find it, would be better, and Walmart just didn't have any. So I went to Lowe's, and this is the only brand they had, chalk, Krylon Chalky Finish, and it's Anvil Gray, but it's kind of the exact same. I mean, it's very similar to that. You can't see because it's laying down, but it is very similar. So I bought three cans of this, and I think I'm going to do the chairs in this. It will be a dark, you know, such a dark gray that it will still look close to black. I think it'll just make it a whole lot easier. Hopefully three is enough for four chairs. We'll find out. So now I'm just going to put all this up, and then um, Marion wants to tell me something. But then I need to bring up my new stuff so that I can paint because it's like four something yeah 415 and i haven't even started painting he's ready to hang it and it's gonna be so beautiful and look at this this is crazy we've never had a switch right here that worked in 17 years that we've lived here so that's gonna be super well we're gonna have to get used to it but it's gonna be really nice i keep thinking we're gonna walk over and try yeah to <laughs> pull the chain it's gonna be missing so the light is going up my rug is flattening out nicely Right here, it's kind of pushed up, but the table will sit on that. So I gotta tell you how low I want it, right? Light is in and it's beautiful and that makes my other one in my dining, my living room look super out of date. You know, they don't match at all. But that'll be another thing we'll do because I told you I want to get rid of that too. Anyway, I just tried the fresh cilantro salsa. <laughs> it's delicious with these um, restaurant style chips. So I'm going to make some queso dip real quick and um, brown some ground chicken, make some taco meat, and then just put those with the salsa on the nachos. It'll be a quick and easy dinner because I have not started painting and it is six o'clock. <laughs> I at least have to get like a first coat on today. So, and the table and the hutch can be done anytime, but the chairs, I need to get them done obviously before dark, but I still have a few hours daylight before it's dark. So I'm going to make dinner. So I guess probably in an hour I'll be able to do that. We also have to Oh, I'm sorry. We also have to bring everything up and just, you know, bringing it up from the basement and taking the old stuff to Goodwill or downstairs. Yeah.
So in case you're wondering what this white cheese dip is, I watched Love Missy XO. She made it a couple years ago and I've tried it a few times and it's so good. It's just sliced Ameri white American cheese and some cumin and usually use half and half but I forgot to buy half and half. So just used regular milk and a can of green chilies and that's it. And it's delicious white cheese dip. You can leave the chilies out if you want but it gives it a really good flavor. And then I'm just going to pour this with the taco meat over the tortilla chips and then put some salsa on top and it's going to be so good. You know I have to have my Mexican food at least a couple times a week. Oh, this is going to be so good. Jackson had tacos. He doesn't like nachos, so he just had taco meat with cheese and tortillas. But this is for Marion and I. And I think he earned this big old plate of nachos. So we finished eating, and I was going to take my chairs outside, which I'm about to show you the chairs. But there is a huge thunderstorm coming. So I'm going to have to do my chairs tomorrow because it's like 6 something and it's going to be dark. I'm glad I didn't do them earlier though and that they're sitting outside and I'd have to like move them when they're wet. So I'll show you what they look like though. Wow. It's kind of crazy. So we're just putting these in the basement for now. I'm going to have to list them. This one I'm keeping from my desk. But these I'm probably going to put on Facebook Marketplace. But Goodwill's about to close right now. So, and this storm is coming fast. Okay, so we're going to put this down in my craft room for now. And once we figure out how the you know rooms are going to be switched around, we'll fix that. This is going to go downstairs too. But this is my new tabletop. It is upside down. <laughs> this is the base of it. And these are the matching chairs. There's four of them. And I paid $125 on Facebook Marketplace for the table and the chairs. And I love them. And there's also a leaf right here that I will also paint so that when I need to make it bigger, you know, we'll have that. And that round table on the round rug is just going to be beautiful under that light. And then these are the drawers to the hutch. There's something spilled on that, obviously. But this is the color of them. I forgot I do need to get, I want to get new handles for them. This is old. So this is the color of it. And it's got, I guess it's got two drawers and two doors. And then it's got the glass doors on top. So, oh my goodness. I'll get the door. All right, he just brought this piece in by himself up the basement stairs, but this is the bottom of it. And um, this is what the inside looks like. And the knobs, which are gonna be changed, and this is gonna all be white. There is some damage to the top. I did not actually realize how much damage there was, but I mean, I'm gonna paint it and then the hutch top is going to sit on it. Maybe I'll put like a little, you know, runner or something. But here he comes with the top. So I should have said no rain. <laughs> he was praying the rain would wait until he got it in. There's a few raindrops on top, but for the most part, it did. But these, this is the top. Gosh, this is so pretty. I wanted a hutch with glass doors on top, and I wanted it to be kind of small, and it's beautiful. Jack, Jack. So Marion's going to take this apart. Tomorrow we'll take it over to Goodwill, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and um, take everything off these shelves because I had originally put these shelves up because I didn't have a hutch and I wanted a hutch, but I wanted it to look like it, you know, like it kind of was a hutch. So I'm going to take these shelves down and most likely I'll use these in my craft room or my office at some point, but for now they're going to come down.
got the wood taken down, all the shelves taken down. He's just patching all the little holes. Then we're gonna take these uh, knobs off and off the top too, and then we'll patch those holes. And then once that dries, then I can paint that. But in the meantime, I'm gonna start painting the table first. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe everything down really good. I'm just gonna use this Lysol all-purpose cleaner and I'm gonna try and get everything painted tonight and then I'll do the chairs tomorrow. And then I'll also do the wall tomorrow because I'm gonna get out my, I have some of this paint left over, thank goodness, and I'm gonna paint that. And then I also have to obviously touch up my faux barnwood wall, but all that will be done tomorrow. It is like 8.30 and I cannot believe I'm just now getting out the paint, but I do wanna give everything a good, um, you know, coat of paint, hopefully only one. And I actually decided I'm gonna paint these hinges. I know that that's probably not how you're supposed to do it, but I am going to, because I want the white hinges. And then I'm gonna go tomorrow, like after church to Lowe's and find some new knobs. Maybe, I probably, what I'm thinking is just wooden knobs and then I'll paint them the same black that the chairs will be. So it will be white with black knobs and then the table will be white with the black chairs. And they're not really black, like I showed you, it's that you know charcoal gray so anyway gonna get started
the sunset A flavor of a memory Whenever all the stars above are shining Then I know I'll never be alone Wherever all my wishes may be heading A part of us will never Okay, what a night. It is 10.30, so I'm gonna stop for the night, but I wanted to just show you, it's clearly gonna need a second coat. So I went ahead and did the first coat on everything, but as you saw on the top of this, I went ahead and did a second coat, and then I did something that I think Carrie Lynn, I watched her do. I think she saw someone else do it, but you kind of, take like a wet I just did paper towels which you could probably you know use a rag which probably would be better because the paper towel starts to kind of crumble but you take it when it's wet and just make you know wipe it with the wood grain and it gives it like a rustic look or a weathered look so I really like this over here I kept messing it up so I'm gonna go tomorrow and put a second coat and then try that right there but the rest of it looks really good I'm really happy I only did the top so tomorrow I'll come back and do a second coat on the stand and then of course all of these will need a second coat and then I can put the polycrylic on the top though this is what the top will look like because I'm not going to do any more coats on this but I'm going to probably get contact paper and put it along the back of this I think it'll be really pretty and then I'm also going to line the shelves over here and then um, at the bottom I'll put it down there too so I'll show you which one I mean if you don't know which one I'm talking about. They have it at Walmart. It's that, sorry it's hard to see back there, but it's like that green and white gingham. I think it'll be beautiful. And I'm not gonna do any more tonight. I'm tired. It is Saturday night, so I'll work on this tomorrow afternoon after we go to church. For you, it'll just be a few seconds, but for me, ooh, my face looks red. <laughs> for, but that light is so nice and bright. It's definitely bright enough. I was worried that those little bulbs might not be the same as my other one. All right, it is Sunday. We just got went to church, got some lunch. <laughs> I'm vlogging in the car. We are at Lowe's now. I'm gonna go pick out my knobs for the hutch. I think I'm just gonna get wooden ones, but we'll see. You can see it's already getting, storms are already popping. They better wait till I'm done painting. Okay, what to choose? I like these. I really like these. Ooh, I really like these. But also this one, no, this one. This is $3 and this is five. 
I think I like this one. But then I gotta find knobs to match. We're gonna get some fencing for my mom. We're gonna redo part of her fence, so we gotta find some. Jackson, he's gotta put that in. Look at the size of that. What a hot, muggy day outside is like so humid. I think it makes it feel 10 degrees hotter, but Thank God for air conditioning, right? Um, we, so Marion is gonna go right now and take the old table to Goodwill. We're just gonna donate that and probably I'll sell my chairs maybe and if I don't feel like it, I'll just take them to Goodwill too. But they're in our basement right now and I was gonna show you the, the I don't know if you could tell which knobs I picked, so let me show you. Okay, so I just got these super simple plain, they're, they look like, they're not matte black, but they're kind of matte. And they're flat. I liked that they're flat. And then I got these handles for the drawers. I really liked these. So these two will go on that. And then these will go on the doors for here. And then also the glass top. I got the contact paper to go on the bottom. I actually have some of this. I wonder if I didn't need to buy this. But this will go on the, you know, inside here. It'll be pretty. Well. <sighs> The rain that never ends. Definitely glad I didn't put my chairs out again. <laughs> if this rain doesn't stop, then I'll never be. Able, I won't be able to finish my um, dining room this weekend. I will finish it in this video, though. It may take me all week, but I will finish it in this video. So I was gonna sit down and, well, I was gonna go take these off. Ugh, I was gonna go do my chairs first. Cause I really want to see if that paint is going to work on them. I need to wipe them down really good and I want to lightly sand, like especially the seats. Um, yeah, can't do that right now. The sky looks so dark up there. My sweet boy. My sweet boy. Yeah, you're such a sweet boy. <laughs> I gotta show you the sky. I know I'm doing this all the time, but I just looked out the window. And wow, I was like, oh, well maybe it's gone. Maybe it's cleared up now. Maybe I can paint my chairs. Yeah, I'm gonna say negative. <laughs> wow. There's like a huge line of storms down south of us. Okay, so second coating is on. I didn't film it because, you know, it's just painting a second coat. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna do some distressing just around the edges, not a whole lot when it's totally dry. But I'm gonna go ahead and paint this wall now and the color is the same as this. It's called Crisp Blue and it's a Valspar. I got this at Lowe's. like the rain has moved out it's blue skies there still could be more so I'm gonna take my chances now I think I have a couple hours hopefully but it cooled it off to like 78 degrees so that's awesome and I'm gonna wipe these down and sand them lightly then I'll be able to paint them and I'm gonna use my little rust-oleum spray paint gun a lot of you asked me about it but it's just a little gun you get at Walmart by the spray paint super cheap like two bucks so yeah I want to see what these look like
Okay, there is the rug. This is one of the chairs. I brought it in. This one was dry. I actually ran out of paint and had to go buy another can of it. So I had one other leftover from when I did Jackson's room. And so I thought I would touch up with that one because I ran out. But it was a totally different color. So, But this one, I didn't have to touch this one up. So the other three are out on the porch. But I, it looks so much more black in the indoor light than it did outside. It was definitely looked more gray out there. But the color is anvil gray, it's the Krylon, and in here it looks black. Looks like it matches the chandelier, so I love them so much. And I put three coats of polycrylic on this, but I'm going to do a couple more just because I want the top to be really secure. And this is set up and I love it. I still have to put my um, contact paper back there, but so this is dry now. I'm just going to take this fine grit, uh, oh no, this is a medium. Uh, sponge and just just stress it just a little along the edges <laughs> coming to an end I was going to originally do this from start to finish in one video but I just feel like this video has gone on so long so I am going to put it into two videos but the next video will just be me doing the decorating I'm gonna switch out my curtains I'm gonna finish the um, contact paper on this I'm gonna put out all the decorations it's gonna be oh I also have to finish this wall so It'll be all the finishing touches, but that'll be my very next video, I promise. So make sure that you're subscribed if you want to see the, the dining room to completely put together. We also have to fix the chain on the chandelier. Marion just has it doubled up, but we had to fix that. And it's just going to be beautiful. I love what it looks like so far. I hope that you guys do too. I hope this video was not too long and too boring. <laughs> A lot of painting and scrubbing and things like that. But here we are at the end of the weekend and I've got a lot of it done. I got most of it done, but obviously not the decorating, but that's the fun part. Look, there's little Clyde peeking up over the side. Clyde matches my dining room. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much, so much for your support, for watching, for commenting and for liking and sharing and for subscribing. I love you all so much. You know I do. You know I'm praying for you. See you guys in my next video. Bye.